Hi, in this video I'm going to show you another take on tooth and nail. This one is about walls. Mainly X-Bane Guardian and Overgrown Battlement, which both can tap for one mana for each defender you control. Creatures that will support them, or rather enable them, are other defenders like Wall of Roots and Saruli Caretaker and both of those can help with mana and then some utility walls like Hornet Nest, um, Wall of Blossoms and Wall of Omens to draw cards and lastly Crashing Drawbridge to give haste to your mana producing walls or to Emrakul later on. Creatures that benefit from having a lot of mana are Duskwatch Recruiter, so you can keep looking through your deck for more walls. And even if it transforms, it should be easy to transform, transform it back, because creature spells will be costing one less, and you ne only need to cast two. And then there is Woodland Bellower, which can grab any creature you want, almost any, but you know what I mean. It can I either get, I don't know, Overgrown Battlement, x bane Guardian, Hornet Nest, or even Shaman of the Forgotten Ways, but more on that in a moment. It can also grab creatures from the sideboard. Then there is Tooth and Nail. There is no specific game-winning combo that wins the game instantly but the choice is mainly between Elish Norn to wipe opponent's board of small creatures and pump your team and the plus two plus two on your side actually matters for Fenax, God of Deception because it will give your creatures ability to mill your opponent for X where X is the toughness of a creature that tapped so the plus two plus two is definitely not wasted and lastly there is Emrakul, and as I mentioned it can be given haste by crushing drawbridge. But unfortunately there is no way to get the crushing drawbridge from with uh, Willand Bellower. And the Shaman of the Forgotten Ways can help you with mana, because as you see the mana base is two colors and sometimes it can be hard to cast Fenax God of Deception. The only way is to use x Guardian, Saruli Caretaker or Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. But the reason it's here is for its second ability with Formidable uh, to set each player's life total to the number of creatures they control. So it can be sometimes game winning against prison on or control. Uh, mana base is simple. There is a bunch of forests, some plains, um, sun petal grove, and temple of plenty because there isn't many one drops in this deck. Going onto the sideboard, there is some artifact hate, enchantment hate, and graveyard hate along with some utility creatures and all of those are searchable with Woodland Bellower and they are put directly into play not in your hand. Then there is more creature hate. Winds of Abandon can be useful when the board is stalled and you want to win the game with Shaman of the Forgotten Ways or something and lastly the, there is combo height because the deck isn't as interactive compared to the classic tooth and nail it's way slower but it's better against stopping small aggro decks if you're looking for something interesting a different take on the archetype there it is